while the LRX signals Land Rover's expansion into a new area of the market, while remaining true to our core values. It's more compact, it's smaller than an LR2, it's lighter, and its technologies address the needs of a changing world. We will focus on four key components. First of all, a fresh approach to functionality, premiumness, sustainability, and desirability. The timing is absolutely right for the LRX concept. We've just had our third consecutive record year, selling over 200,000 vehicles worldwide for the very first time. Over the last five years, we have replaced all of our products and introduced a fifth nameplate. It's now time to consider what next. Where could Land Rover go? What do we need to do to continue this phenomenal momentum that we've built all around the world? We know technically that we can, we can produce a vehicle like LRX with the environmental technology that's on it. What we will do with the concept car post this show is to actually research and understand the type of customer that will be interested in buying it, define the segment in which it would compete and ensure that we have a business proposition which is appropriate around the world. Well, I think it's clear when you look at the LRX that this isn't, this isn't a pie in the sky concept. This vehicle is, is very believable, it's very realistic looking and that's quite deliberate um, because if we decide to put this concept into production our designers and engineers will be passionate about delivering a vehicle that is very close to the concept that we're looking at here today. And I believe it's absolutely the right design direction for the brand. The vehicle is still, it's, it's fresh, it's modern, it's exciting, it's dramatic. But it's still unmistakably a Land Rover. You can still see because of its visual robustness, its stance, some of the details like the clamshell bonnet, the floating roof. It's still clearly um, a Land Rover but it's a bold evolution of that rich design language. The LRX is a new concept vehicle from Land Rover. We are talking about the fact that it will have a hybrid powertrain. That will be a diesel hybrid, that will be federalized for sale in the US, but also homologated for sale in Japan and Europe to EU6 standards. It will feature a stop-start capability for a 2.0 liter diesel engine, it will also have an electronic rear axle drive unit, which will be a power assist, but it also allows it to travel on pure electric power. 